In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. After these things, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, Follow me. So he left all, rose up, and followed him. Then Levi gave him a great feast in his own house. And there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with them. And their scribes and the Pharisees complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us to understand your word, your message. Help us to repent of our many sins. In the scripture reading from St. Luke today, we read about the calling of Levi, or Matthew as we know him, one of the writers of the Gospels, of the four Gospels. We read how Jesus called him, and how Levi, or Matthew, held a big feast for Jesus. Many people were there, including tax collectors and others. There are also some scribes and Pharisees who said, Why? Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus' response was, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Now this is is the crunch. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. All of us, all of us sinners have been called to repentance. To repentance of our sins, to change the direction in which we are going, to turn away from the world in its sinful ways. That is why Jesus came. That is why he died on the cross for us, to save us from our sins. Many people refuse to go to church. They say there are hypocrites there. Well, all I can say is, yes, there are a lot of sinners there. Not holy people. But sinners, it's a hospital for us all who are sick, who are sinful. That is what it's all about. We all sin in one way or another, all of us. doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a bishop or a priest or a deacon or anybody. We all sin, we all fall short. Not many of us are able to follow Christ, truly follow him in all his teachings. We even read about the various apostles, like today, Levi, Matthew. He was a tax collector. As far as the people were concerned, he was doing the work of the Romans and collecting taxes. And many of the tax collectors used to cheat the people. 
sin. What about St. Peter? He was a fisherman. He made mistakes too. I dare say he swore like a trooper, as they say, as the term goes. And so much so, he sinned that he denied Christ. Three times he sinned. Jesus is calling you, you who are sinners, to repentance. Fall down on your knees and beg God to forgive you your many sins. Stop following the world in its sinful ways and follow Christ. Give God the glory every day when you can get through a day. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.